Hello friends, welcome back to another week of working with a personal trainer. This is week number eight. So, off the top, hydration was not an issue and we even talked about not necessarily tracking it and reporting it to her anymore since I do so well. Um, I fully intend on still using my little app to track it so that I'm keeping myself accountable to my goal. Uh, sleep has been Hmm. How can I say it? Going to bed on time has been fine. Um, we had some stuff come up with the um, house remodel that got my brain going and gave me some very anxious nights and really affected my sleep. And I think in the middle of that, I realized um, I've been going on this new medication for migraines and in order to take it, I had stopped a bunch of supplements and I came to the conclusion that I didn't need to stop as many supplements as I had thought I did. And so I went back on one that is basically herbs that have been tested and proven to be just as effective as anxiety medication. Um, so I went back on that one and it seemed to make a difference in my sleep. Um, also, getting past conversation. It's one of those things of, you know you have to have a conversation, but you can't have it for two days, and your brain just wants to continue talking about it the whole time, even though you're telling yourself there's no point, we're not gonna have the conversation, so. And by the time the conversation came and went, it was fine, and everything got worked out. So, bedtime anxiety is very frustrating, and I look forward to when it's not a major element in my life. And it hasn't been for a while now, but this just goes to prove that it can come and go. So, but in terms of waking up on time, I've done better this week, but it's also to the sacrifice of actually getting the hours since I got such bad sleep. Like there was times where I was awake two or three hours during the night and so, yes, I woke up on time, but then I had only gotten like six or seven hours of sleep, which is not good. Um, so, sleep continues to be an issue, as it has been the last several weeks. But with adding in the new, um, we're adding back in the supplement, I am hoping that this next week will be different. Um, and it's just a matter of willpower of, okay, I'm going to get up when my alarm goes off. We did rest on Sunday, not as much as I wanted to. On Saturday, I do my, my grocery shopping and my meal prep, which means like half the day is spent shopping and half the day is spent in the kitchen working on stuff. And I didn't get everything I wanted to get done. So I, I had cooking meal prep for breakfast, which were cottage cheese pancakes I needed to make and also making new bread for the next couple weeks that got lingered and, and came over into Sunday. So like half the day is spent at church on Sunday and then um, my rest ended up just being, I am exhausted, I'm going to take a nap. And I took like a two hour nap as soon as we got done with lunch. Um, but then the evening was spent back in the kitchen cooking and catching up on some house stuff that didn't get done for the week and that sort of thing. So I would have liked for the Sunday to be all rest and have time to, you know, draw or read or watch some YouTube just for the fun of it. Um, so I'm kind of just thinking about things going, okay, is there anything that I automatically put on Saturday that could be moved into the week? Um, like I ended that time and I still in the back of my mind wanted to make some muffins. So like last night after dinner, I made muffins. So we're, I mean, I made a lot of muffins. I made 36 muffins. So half of them went in the freezer and half of them are in the refrigerator. So I shouldn't have to make muffins anytime soon. Um, but like on Saturdays, I usually leave it until then to prep chicken for my salads for the next week. And that's not a hard thing. It's a matter of just pull out some chicken and then the next day pop it in the oven for 30 minutes and you're done. So I may end up shifting that chore earlier on so that the meat's just available for me on Saturday when I'm putting together my salads. So some thinking to be done on that day. 
I did weigh in um, on Wednesday in preparation for a meeting and was pleasantly surprised with my weight loss. I had gone down again. Um, and it'll be interesting to see this week if it continues or if it was just a freak. Um, but I think I talked about in the last meeting or the last video with you that um, for me, weight, lo weight loss has always been a bit frustrating as a woman because it's never consistent. Whereas my husband, if he gets on a diet, his weight loss, loss is very consistent. As long as he's tracking his food and doing his things, he's very consistent losing weight. And women are just typically not that way. And I know it all has to do with hormones and what time of the month you're, you're at and, you know, whether your body is holding water or not holding water and all that fun stuff. But it doesn't mean it's any less frustrating. So I'm very curious to see what it looks like tomorrow. In terms of exercises, I... So last Wednesday, I had my meeting with my trainer and we immediately left from there to a doctor's appointment out of time, out of town. And so I didn't have a chance to do my, my workout before my meeting with her. And then after traveling for the rest of the day and coming home late, I was not up to exercising again. So I basically missed a day of exercise last week. And I was gonna try to make it up on Saturday this week, but with all of the preparations and running around and doing grocery shopping and everything, I never found the time to do it because I'm not in the habit of purposely exercising on Saturdays and Sundays. So to just out of the blue say, hey, I'm gonna toss in an hour, hour of working out, it's not straightforward. So. I have down here that I missed exercise on Saturday, which confused me because I'm like, I don't usually do that. But that has to do with the doctor's appointment. Um, but other than that, this week I've done, I've been able to do all the exercises to a degree. I still can't get on my knees. So if the class is on my knees, I just end up adding extra time walking. I know it's not the same thing. I know it's not working out the same way, but I have to wait until my knees can be healed enough. The scabs are getting smaller, but like one knee is not healing as nicely um, and it continues to be gooey. I don't know how, it's just, it's not healing well, as well. It's just taking its sweet time, which is frustrating because I want to get back onto my hands and knees so I can start doing my leg lifts and everything. Journaling, I've been able to do each day and I've even gotten a little bit deeper in them. I don't necessarily have the bandwidth to get deeper every single morning, which I know part of my brain says I need to, to be consistent. Um, but I don't know when I, first thing in the morning before the day's even begun, it's kind of hard to say, let's dig deep. So I might need to start thinking about maybe a different time to do deep journaling. Um, nutrition ha has been good. I have been once again, still feeling a bit hungrier than normal. For a while there, it was very easy to get the 550 calories, 1,550 calories. Um, but this week it's been more challenging. So the day I did not track was Wednesday when I went to the doctor's appointment. And even though I didn't track, my breakfast and lunch were a normal meal for me. Um, I even planned out for the restaurant that we were going to a meal that would fit into my macros. The oddball thing that wasn't necessarily in everything was we did have a dessert. Um, but that being said, halfway through my meal at the restaurant, I was like, I'm full. This is a lot of food and I want to enjoy my dessert. I don't want to feel stuffed. And so I actually skipped half of my dinner. And it, to me, I really don't think if I did go back and run all the numbers that I was necessarily crazy over on that day. Um, Thursday, was my highest day for calories and it was at 1607. And then the lowest was yesterday was 1532. And of course today I haven't finished, I haven't finished tracking, but I expect to be close to the target. So overall, it's very close to the goals. Um, we did talk about, you know, things to do for snacks if I'm hungry. So I, I've been eating more apples than I usually do because if I come home and I'm hungry and I'm making dinner um, and I've already had my afternoon snack, then I've been cutting up an apple and eating it and it's been helping tide me over. Um, in terms of homework that we've been working on, 
Um, a lot of the discussion this week was what do you do, do for burnout if you push too hard and you're exhausted and steps to take care of that and get back on your feet and not just abandon everything that you've been working towards um, and trying to find that balance between working towards a goal but not burning out or not applying enough efforts so you're not actually making progress on the goal. So that was a lot of the homework. Um, and I still have a journaling exercise to work on for that before tomorrow morning. Um, but part of what I was alluding to was, yes, I had the sleep problems and I had a lot of anxiety at night, but I also realized that I was having a lot of body tension too. So this week, brand new, she didn't say anything about it. I decided to add it in was I added in stretching before bed. And I have a little roller thing that can put my feet on and roll the bottom of my feet. And then I have a stick that's kind of like a foam roller, but it's a stick that you can roll your legs. Um, and then I sit down and just stretch in all sorts of ways, trying to find all the sore spots. And I find lots of them. Um, and there was even one night I told West, it'd be, I asked him if he could massage my shoulders because they were particularly tense. Um, but I, I found that adding the, adding the stretching in and adding the extra supplement in at night definitely has helped. Um, I'm not waking up with the same, you know, aches and pains in the middle of the night. Um, what has been keeping me up is my knees. My knees are going into that phase of being crazy itchy and that'd be wonderful if it was itching because everything was coming off, but they're itching and stuff can't come off yet. <laughs> so it's like, it's driving me a little bit crazy. And there's been times where the only thing that would help is actually putting ice packs on them to just numb everything and just tell it to be quiet. Um, so for a couple nights now, I've been going to sleep with ice packs on my knees just so I can sleep. Um, this week we have definitely entered into fall um, we have cooler temperatures and we've been getting rain, which we haven't been getting for quite some time now, um, which is all wonderful. My favorite season is fall, but it has definitely brought up a gap in my wardrobe. Um, I, a while ago, even before I started with the personal trainer, I had invested in a couple, like four, four sets of shorts and four sets of shirts for exercising in, um, that I was using, like when I was going to the gym and doing some weightlifting. And... Now that it's cold, I realized I need to invest in some bottoms that are warm because walking when it's 40 or 50 outside in shorts just is not a good thing. And like the other day, I did go out in my shorts and my t-shirt and I had a little thin summer cover up and everything. And I came back and I was cold to the touch, but I was still sweaty. And you know, today I found some sweatpants I could wear and then put a, a thin sweater coat thing over my t-shirt and that worked out a whole lot better. But I don't have a lot of those pants. I have one pair. And like the other things I have are leggings and I just have a feeling that leggings might be too thin for walking in. Um, because like these sweatpants aren't very breathable so it works as a nice barrier that they're not skin tight, but they don't let the breeze go through. Um, so as we're able, I think I'll, I'll need to invest in at least one, if not a couple more pairs of bottoms so I can continue with my outdoor rocks. Luckily, that doesn't happen every day. That only happens on Tuesday and Thursdays. And if we decide to go on the weekend, um, because Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm in the house and I can wear my shorts and I can do um, video led exercises or eventually the weightlifting, but that's still led by the video or prompted by the videos. So those are things that are changing. In terms of meal preps um, for, I had tried a frittata that she had recommended and West and I both said we weren't very interested in it. For one, we've decided that we don't like asparagus and a frittatas. Um, so I was on the hunt for another recipe and I found a quiche recipe in the Trim Healthy Mama cookbooks that turned out really well. It's like this morning I had one piece of that and it was a very good sized piece. 
and then I was able to add a couple low calorie muffins next to it and that was a complete meal for me. That met all the, the targets. It's like for Trim Healthy Mama, the recipes are usually either low carb or low fat. So this particular recipe was low carb. So in order to have the balanced meal that I was going for, I could just add the muffins to it. Um, but this was a very hearty quiche and everybody gives me a weird look like what? Because it's a chicken quiche. And the whole thing is it's a quick and easy put together quiche and you use canned chicken. Um, and it's very tasty. The texture is a little bit odd because it's so high in protein. Um, you don't get that cheesy gooiness. If I had made it according to their recipe with as much fat as they're calling for, it would have had a better texture, but then it would have blown my fat out of the water for the day. So I just modified it a little bit, put less of the fat they had asked for, and then added the muffins. And that was a very quick breakfast because like this morning I was like, I'm not up to cooking anything. And so I literally dished it out into a plate and warmed it up and put some muffins on it and called it good. Um, so that was a nice thing to come by. And I was, from our trip for the doctor's appointment, I actually came to a realization because the dinner we had was basically one of those, I guess people would call them grain bowls. Um, it's whatever you get like at Chipotle where you build your bowl with your rice and your beans and all your toppings and everything. Um, I got really full really fast because what I did was no rice. I had beans, I had double veggies. Um, I did some chicken and some, you know, toppings of some sort. But I got fast. I got really full really fast. And so it occurred to me that I need to be doing more bowls like that so that I can have that nice sense of fullness from actual food. Um, and it, I think it would work out well. And it was last week as well that we did, as a family, I did Chipotle bowls at home. Um, I just had some marinated chicken that we cooked up. And I put out all sorts of things people can build their plates with. And I did similar and that was also, it was a hit. I just don't remember to do those kind of meals. Um, so I just need to build that into the rotation. And then this morning I was looking at some, some um, an email that was talking about foods and recipes and everything. I came across the idea of doing lettuce wraps. Um, I love the P.F. Ching's let lettuce wraps. And so I found a knockoff recipe for that and the, Macros are not bad at all for it. And so I'm considering trying to fit that into the rotation next week and see how it goes. Um, obviously, when you, once you get the meat mixture put together, it's fine. And then you just have to pull out your lettuce as you want it for your lunches. Um, and that might be a nice variation to having my salads with my chicken. Um, or it might even turn into a, a dinner plate. I'm just... I'm looking at lunches as being an option for me to explore and eat foods that the rest of the family isn't necessarily into um, because there's plenty of things I love to eat that my family's not interested in. And when I think about doing the lettuce wraps for dinner, I don't know how successful it would be because Wes does not eat lettuce and some of the textures and stuff my daughter may or may, may not like, I'm not sure. So, but if nothing else, I can try it for lunch because I do enjoy those. Thank you for joining me for this wrap up and review. I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, feel free to like and subscribe.